Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Liz, and in today's video, we're doing all new home hacks. I want to share with you guys one of my secret home decor hacks that I use to find really high-end pieces on Amazon for super cheap. So I love to search on like Pottery Barn or CB2 or West Elm or Anthropology, and I'll find a style I like, screenshot that picture. I found these dining room chairs that I loved off of Pottery Barn. So here's the steps you need to do to find them on Amazon. So you're going to open up the Amazon app on your phone. Then there's like a little square at the top in the search box. Click on that square, then you have the option to upload a photo. So you're just going to upload your screenshot that you just put in. Then you can click the button that says find style. And I'm telling you guys, so many popped up that are super affordable. I can get the exact same style, but for a fraction of the cost. Let me know if you guys have tried this hack in the comments. Have you guys seen those really expensive bamboo organizers for your Ziploc bags? They're really pretty, they look really nice. Well, I would love to have those, but I didn't want to spend the money on those. So the other day I was just scrolling on my phone and somehow, I guess because I love organization so much, this product came up in my feed and I immediately had to get it. It was super inexpensive. So this is a Target product. It's called a drawer organizer variety pack. It was $12.99 when I purchased it. So it opens up like this, but essentially it's the same thing as those expensive drawer organizers. You have your quart storage, quart freezer, sandwich snack, and gallon size bags. You just pull these little tabs out here. You can put it in your drawer and you have organized Ziploc storage. So love this. I will link to it down below. If you're going to be flying this summer, you're going to be bringing luggage, or maybe you're just traveling somewhere where you're going to have luggage, you need to make your luggage stand out so you can easily recognize it. Now you can put the little tags on there, but sometimes you don't see that. Another option you can try is just grab any kind of colorful duct tape. You're going to put it on the top of your luggage as well as the front. That way you can easily spot your luggage. And if you can get it in a bright color, even better. If you've made it this far on the video, thank you so much for watching. Comment the word of the day, which is travel. One of my favorite hacks is creating personalized gifts that people actually want. And an affordable way that I do this is through Shutterfly. I wanna thank Shutterfly for sponsoring today's video. You're probably familiar with Shutterfly for creating photo books or prints, but they actually have cards in stationery. And those are some of my favorite items from Shutterfly. Shutterfly has cards that you can create for all different kinds of events, as far as like weddings and Christmas, really any event. Recently, I had a birthday party for my daughter and I thought, these thank you cards were so cute. I personalized them by putting her picture on there and adding her name. She can use these to write thank yous to her guests from the party. Another item that I use frequently from Shutterfly and which I think makes great gifts are their notebooks. I love how you can easily personalize them. So I just picked out a notebook with a really cute saying on the front, added in one of my favorite pictures. I use notebooks daily. Like I love to put the date at the top and then I can write my to-do list out for the day. So we are getting ready to head out on a big road trip and we're going to be in the car for hours. So I thought a fun idea would be to create some journals for my girls. I feel like whenever we go on vacations and road trips, we have so much going on and they love to journal and write things down. So I created these personalized ones for each of my daughters. They have photos on the front and back and then I put their names on the side. They can date their journal entries and I think this is just perfect to have in the summer. I love a personalized notepad. I think these look so cute. I sit them out on my desk. If I ever need to write a note, I can just add it right there, really easy. Another thing I love to personalize are my post-its. How cute are these? I just added my name to the bottom. You could make these for your business, your kids, really anything. I love giving a quick gift to teachers at back to school night whenever my kids start school. I love these little notepads. I think they make perfect gifts. I just wrote to do up here. I have this one that's got the little stars on it. I also have this one. Look how cute this is with the plants at the bottom. I wrote to do as well. If you knew your teacher's name, you could add that or maybe your grade level. 
If you're wanting to try out any of the Shutterfly personalized cards and stationery, I'm gonna put all their links down in the description box. You can go check out their website. I was really surprised at how many new items they have available. This next hack is great for traveling. A lot of times I don't like to take my toiletries and put them in smaller containers. I usually just take these big ones, but I'm always nervous about them spilling or you know, just like dumping out into my luggage. So here's a hack. You want to take some cling wrap and you're just going to unscrew the tops of your containers. Then you're just gonna pull out a little bit of the cling wrap. You're gonna place it over your bottle and just kind of like push it around the edge. Then you're gonna screw your cap back on. So if for any reason it leaks, it's just an extra barrier to hopefully not get the liquid all over your luggage. With the weather being warmer, you may be having people over doing some entertaining. I wanna show you a really inexpensive ice bucket that you can throw together, and you may have these items lying around the house. So what you're gonna need is you're gonna need some kind of container food storage with a lid, and then you're going to need a smaller container to go inside. And then you're also going to need something to put along the edges of your ice. I'm going to be using lemons today, but you could use florals, any kind of fruit you really want or whatever the theme for your party is. I'm going to fill up this container with water. This smaller container is going to actually create the inside portion of my ice bucket. So this is going to be a weight. So you want to make sure you have a smaller container with a lid. So let's fill this up with water. All right, I'm not sure exactly how much water I need to put in here, so let's kind of test it out. Now that I have my water figured out, I'm gonna cut up my lemons so I have something decorative to put along the edges. All right, so I'm gonna put my center bowl back in, and then I'm just going to set my lemon wedges around the edges. Now they're gonna float around, that's okay. You just kind of wanna put them as evenly spaced as possible, but again, once it's frozen, it's not gonna matter exactly where everything is. Now I'm going to put the lid on top. This is why you need the lids, just to make sure you can hold everything in place. Okay, so this is what it's going to look like. Now we're gonna place this in the freezer overnight. It's the next day. This is sat in my freezer overnight. So I pulled it out, took the lid off, and I ran a little bit of water around the edges. It was pretty much lukewarm water, and it felt like it was getting ready to pop out of here. Now I'm a little concerned how I'm gonna get this off, but right now I'm gonna try to transfer it upside down to this plate and see if it will come out of this larger container. And it looks like it is. So that's cool. It's got a few little cracks on the side. Well, actually it doesn't even look like cracks. I think they're just part of it. So now I have to figure out, I'm gonna flip it back over and figure out how we're gonna get this center section off. All right, so I'm gonna use my knife to try to get the lid off. Okay, it looks like some water got down to the bottom inside of our bowl, but I thought originally I was gonna take the bowl out, but I feel like it looks good in there, so I'm gonna keep this existing bowl in. So if you put this together, make sure you put it on something like this tray that I have that can melt throughout your party and hold your liquid as it melts. You can fill this with anything you want, anything you wanna keep cold. I'm gonna put in popsicles for a kid's birthday party.
If you're looking for more DIY content to watch, I actually have a second channel here on YouTube called Liz for McDaily. I will put the link down in the description box or you can just search Liz for McDaily on YouTube. But on this channel, I live stream, I post daily DIY content behind the scenes. So I'd love for you to check it out and consider subscribing. This next hack is one that restaurants use to keep fingerprints off of stainless as well as keep them looking shiny and great, baby oil. So we're gonna test this hack out on my stainless steel in my kitchen. We're gonna put a little bit of the baby oil on a paper towel and see if it shines my sink up. We're also gonna try it on some of my appliances. This definitely revived all of my stainless steel in my kitchen, so I think it's a hack worth trying. <laughs> Do you have the problem where sometimes the suction cups will slip down and you have to like re-stick it? Here's a hack I found to keep these suction cups stuck to your sink. You actually wanna use Vaseline. So you're gonna put a small amount of Vaseline on the back of the suction cups, then just stick it inside of your sink and it's supposed to hold it there so much better. This hack is perfect for anybody who has nails, kind of like me, and loves to drink things that have pop tabs on them. These are called beverage barricades, and they come in a pack of six. What you use them for is you can slip them onto any can that has a pop tab. You can open them really easily so it's not gonna like damage your nails or your hands or anything. The other cool feature about these is you can actually swivel your pop tab around. So if you're in your car, it's going to keep anything from flying into your drink. If you're sitting outside, bugs and ugh, gross things are not going to get inside your drink. So it's perfect for the summer. Liz, why should they subscribe to the channel? There are so many reasons. I post home hacks all the time, so many fun DIYs, and I really try to help you decorate your home on a budget. This next hack was definitely new to me and I would love to know if you guys knew about this hack. So this hack has to do with the ceiling fans in your home. Did you know that there is a switch on your ceiling fan where you can change it for summer or winter months? In the winter, you wanna put your switch on so it moves clockwise because that is going to move the hot air down. But in the summer, you want your fan going counterclockwise and that is going to push the cool air down. I had no idea about this. I switched all of my fans in my house so they are good to go for summer. I love the look of ferns because they're green and they're lush and big and they're usually pretty inexpensive. I wanna show you a hack to help you keep your ferns looking green and lush all summer long, even through the summer heat. We're gonna do an Epsom salt soak. This is great. It helps your plants look green and lush because it raises the magnesium levels in your plants. It also helps deter any pests. So get any bucket, you're going to put a tablespoon of Epsom salt for every gallon of water you put into your bucket. From there, all you have to do is just place your plant in the soak, leave it in there for a couple of hours, and it is going to improve the life of your plant. In a past Home Hacks video, I showed you guys with aluminum foil how there's these little circles on the edge of your containers that you can push in place and then it keeps this from falling out whenever you're using it. Same thing with the cling wrap. So you just push in these tabs on both sides and now it holds in place when you're using it. Thanks so much for watching and I'll talk to you in our next one. Bye.